Hi everyone, I'm Danny, and today I am here in the Menominee Valley Animal Room with Daisy, the ornate box turtle. Now, ornate box turtles are the only box turtle species that are native to the state of Wisconsin. We probably wouldn't find them out in the wild here in Milwaukee. They are found in the southwestern corner of the state. Um, if you find an ornate box turtle in Wisconsin, you might be inside one of the Urban Ecology Center animal rooms, um, but you probably wouldn't find them out in the woods. But box turtles are land turtles, so they are turtles that you would find in woods and prairies. And today, Daisy here is going to help me explain where the box turtle gets its name from. Why is a box turtle called a box turtle? So the name comes from their shell. They have a very cool shell. So I'm going to tip Daisy up, if you don't mind, for a second here, Daisy. And um, first, I just want to acknowledge how beautiful Daisy's shell is. Again, the name Ornate Box Turtle, when you look at the bottom of her shell, you can tell why they're called Ornate. It's really beautiful. But on the bottom of the shell, you see this line right here, this line going across her shell. That is actually a spot where the bottom half of her shell is split. And it's kind of like a hinge. So the same kind of hinge that you would use to open and close a door, Daisy has one of those on the bottom of her shell. And what it does is it helps her to open and close this front part of the bottom of her shell. So uh, if I push on this part gently, you can see how it can actually move in and out. You see that? It can move in and out. So if Daisy came upon a predator that wanted to eat her in the wild, what she would do is pull her arms and pull her head all the way into her shell. And if you look at the bottom part of the shell here and the top part of the shell here, you'll notice that they're the exact same shape. And so this bottom part actually fits right up into that top piece, just like a puzzle piece. And so because this is hinged, she pulls her arms in, pulls her head in, and that closes the shell completely. It would be completely shut. Now, Daisy is not scared of me. This is why she cannot survive in the wild, because she's not scared of a large predator like me. But if she were scared of me, she would be pulling herself into her shell, and it would completely seal up her shell, and she would be inside of there, just like she was inside of a box. And that is why they are called box turtles, because they have the ability to seal themselves inside their shells as if they were inside of a box. So thanks for hanging out with me and Daisy today. Uh, if you're in Milwaukee, you obviously, like I mentioned, you can't find any box turtles if you're out exploring the woods, but maybe look around at the other animals and think about how they protect themselves from their predators. What are their defense mechanisms? So have a good time. We'll see you next week. Bye.